Okay, guys. Look, first of all, look at this weather. It ha hasn't been like this in Sweden for like a month or so. We haven't seen the sun for a long time. But that doesn't matter. The thing is, you are going to watch this video if you are going to purchase the Sony A7S III because it's a little bit limited uh, when it comes to the PAL setting. So if you're in the PAL area, maybe you should look at this video. It's free, so you no, know, why not? Okay guys, first of all I want to make this long story very... Oh Jesus! Okay guys, first I want to make a long story short, right? The thing is, put your camera in the right settings. If you live in PAL area, put it in PAL so you won't have uh, any problems like I had for the couple of last days here. You won't have everything in it if you're in PAL area. You put the camera in PAL, but at least everything will work <clears throat> just fine and you won't have any problems in post-production. So, oh my god, look, the, the sun is right there. It was like, the sun told me like, that, that was a good shot, Jonas, that was a good shot. But, if you want to, but, my butt is, that's weird, that, that, uh, the pronunciation is horrible, but who cares. If you want to see, like, in, now you know that, that you need to put it in the right settings, because it will be a problem if you don't. But if you want to see what kind of problem it will get to you, get you, get, you know, then you should watch the next like 10 minutes because that's me trying to figure out why I had all these problems in the NTSC mode, which I had because I wanted that 24p, man. Yeah, I'll let my feelings get in the way or something like that. <laughs> Just watch what happened the, the last like five days. Hopefully you won't have the same problems as, as me here and Hopefully, it will help you in the process of buying this uh, camera. I've never been as confused as I am right now. Please do not have any kind of expectations. I'm using my new camera, the Sony A7S III, which is supposed to be some kind of gift from the guy up there, or woman, or alien. And it is, it's an awesome camera. It's an awesome camera. Uh, but for a couple of hours ago, I would say it was a piece of shit. So everything started yesterday. Uh, me and my intern Adnan, we were filming for a vlog where we were supposed to test this camera out. Everything started out just fine. And it looked really nice. Good morning everybody. Right now I'm filming with the A7S III and it's the first time I'm doing it. And today we're going to try that out. But I'm waiting for my intern here, Adnan. He will be here shortly. Look at that. Wow, that looks amazing. That's high, that is super mature of me to do. I'm starting to feel super weird about this. Oh shit, there is. Adnan! Are you testing the new camera? Yes, we will. Oh, that looks really nice. <laughs> what do you say, Adnan? Wow. Look, look at that background when I have it on 2.8 2 and it actually works to vlog with, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this is 24 millimeter yeah. and uh, filmed in full frame, so mm. it works. But but it's kind of heavy, <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm waiting for my Tamron, uh, which is a bit a little bit lighter. Damn, it looks so good. I'm so happy that I at least got 2.8 aperture because so creamy there in the background super awesome and by the way i'm filming in uh, 4k right now i only have one battery as well so now we're kind of in a hurry let's do some slow motion right yeah yeah and then we encountered a problem everything that i filmed was in 24p <laughs> it was not in 120p i could not use that footage so i went back and uh, broke down <laughs> took a coffee and uh, then we went outside again and we we got some time to film some stuff uh, but it, it was starting to get dark so I need to crank up that ISO sometimes and I know that even with these cameras I had the A7S II for quite some time even when I had that and, and I filmed in, in like S-Log and, and uh, slow motion um, then it would be like grainy uh, no matter what okay so now I have some material so today I thought, hmm, why don't we film some awesome cool b-roll stuff inside here, in this room. It's a beautiful room, it's, it's really cool and awesome 
place. And now the real problem starts that really pissed me off today. Just like for a couple of hours ago, I was furious and stressed out to a new level. Because you know, I sold my previous gears. I had a Usa Mini Pro, which had 224p. Uh, looked really cinematic when I was filming with it. Uh, like this Thrive Beyond commercial that I did. Yeah, so that looked really good. So I sold everything. I sold the Canon lenses and stuff like that. So I want one system. So I felt like, Sony, you got me. I mean, I got you. So I bought it. And people all around the internet told, talked about this 24p. And I felt like, yeah, I need that 24p. And I will do my YouTube videos in 24p. And I want that cinematic look. And uh, also when I work for customers, I need that 24p, you know. Uh, that's, um, oh, that gives that a little extra. And I discovered today that this camera, when I put it in PAL mode, which I, which I was supposed to just try out today, did not have a uh, 24p. If you set your camera to PAL, PAL, then you don't have 24p, which is like the cinema, like movie frames per second, like standard, because it's just looks beautiful. When this camera don't have that, I feel like, oh, my phone is better. <laughs> like, oh Jesus, I. Wah! The lights started flickering in slow motion and stuff like that. I felt like, oh shit. I live in Europe and it's like we got some kind of other system with the lights and stuff like that, and I was furious. So I just gotta light it a little bit different when I want slow mo. And when I'm filming 24p in my NTSC mode, uh, I, I should not put the um, shutter speed higher than uh, one-fifth of a second. If you're buying this, you're, you're living in PAL area and you're going to buy this camera. You will not have 24p. You will not have 240 frames per second in HD. You will not have 120 uh, frames per, per second when you are in 4K. You just won't. So when you're in full HD, you will have uh, 200 frames per second. And when you're in 4K, you will have 100 frames per second. And when you want to shoot 24p, you only got 25, like a... Trust me, it's more. In Paul mode, you, you just can't use some options. I'm, I, was, I was so furious. <laughs> <laughs> and I've definitely just lost my mind. Oh, this is just a horrible vlog. This has really been a true test of this camera. It has been like a big mess. And I just want to say this camera is fantastic. It's a lot. It's an advanced camera. But if you want it in Paul... <laughs> I know I just for a couple of minutes ago I said like yeah you can still have it in NTSC mode and stuff like that and I can I can have it in NTSC mode and I can add 24 frames per second but I can't have a, a, a high shutter speed because uh, there will be some issues um, and there will be issues anyway when I do it in um, when I do 120 frames per second in slow motion in, in 4K or even like 240 frames per second in full HD Depending on which lights you are using, right? So you can still use it, but it will always depend on which light you are using I have accepted it fully how this camera operates and um, What I've learned from the beginning of my filming career like you should not work with NTSC and you should not mix those files together uh, and stuff like that. So I, I will put it in Paul and I will be that 25 frames per second guy. I didn't want to be that, but I guess I need to be that. And uh, 100 frames per second in 4K, that's pretty amazing and I'm happy with that. But with that said, you can have it in NTSC. Like if you have controlled environments uh, and you are uh, you are setting up the lights and you are like uh, stuff like that or if you're outside in the woods or something like that You can do whatever you want basically Put your camera in the right 
uh, area when it comes to Paul and TSC. If you're in uh, America, you're very lucky because then you have 24 frames per second and that's not a problem. You have 120 frames per second and that's not a problem. The results will be really good anyway. This is 25p. It probably doesn't look bad. It's just as a filmmaker, it's just so nice to have 24p. But I think 25 will just be perfect. And remember guys that you can always render your project in 24p in post-production. I don't know if that will be perfect, but you can. So yeah, that is the vlog. Hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I'm happy. This makes me happy. If you want to support me and this channel, please subscribe. That would mean a lot. Give it a thumbs up or maybe write a comment. And if you want to support in another way, uh, and also yourself, check out thrivebeyondclothing.com. It's my own clothing brand. Love yourself, elevate others. Have a great day. See you next time. I just want to film and create content and that's what I will do. And I will open this box. Look at that sun. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I'm such a typical Swede, right? Super happy as soon as I see the sun. <laughs> Love it. Take care. Bye.